I guess the rain got here today. I'm glad I, uh, I spent time raking up leaves yesterday and putting them in piles so that now they can really soak the water up really well. Just got the word a little while ago that we've now reached the second wettest October in the history of Arizona. And uh, rain is expected to continue through this evening, so we could be number one. It isn't election day, that isn't until November, but it is voting day. I put my ballot in the mail. I live in Arizona, there isn't much help. There isn't much hope that we can turn the tide and flip this state from dumbass to progressive, but uh, we can live in hope. So, with Chuan home this week, and James, who I can put to work at some degree, here's what we're gonna do. I've been trying to work out a way to get us more space, and the fact is, We've got one big chunk of space that we never use, except to throw junk in it. And I'm gonna make it this week's project to get this space usable, and to use this space to make the laundry room. Really, you assholes have to do this in my yard again. Uh, and to use this space. So here's what we've got. At the back end of my driveway, I've got a shed. And it's a terrible shed, and I'll show you why. For starters, the door is in terrible shape. It's falling apart. So those are gonna have to be fixed. And then inside, try first to ignore all the crap that's in here. All right. Let's concentrate instead on these walls. Yeah, you can very clearly see right there and right there that this is just siding up against two by fours. So this, and then we've got this big opening. We've got some knot holes there. I mean, you can see the sky up above, right? This room is filthy. Even, even the light bulb is covered in dirt. So we don't keep anything out here that's of any value. We only keep stuff out here that's junk. Chemicals we don't use. I've got to go through these and get rid of them. Um, you know, this bicycle, which is a nice bike, but... Uh, it doesn't fit anyone else in the family. It's it's my sized, and then, uh, you know, maybe after I've lost some weight, but uh, it's not suited for me anymore. And uh, old hard drives. There's a recycling event coming up uh, next weekend, I think, to get rid of those. That that's going to be a that's going to be a thing. Uh, a bunch of old tools that came from my dad's house that I don't know what to do with. Junk, basically junk. So what I'm going to do, for starters, is we're going to go down to Home Depot here very shortly, and we're going to buy some insulation board, uh, that silver-backed um, barrier foam board. And I'm going to, I need nine sheets four by eights, and I'm going to cut them and insert them inside between the two by fours so that there is a barrier between the dirt and the inside, plus a temperature barrier. I'm gonna, I've been meaning to do that for years. I'm going to do that. Um, that'll help a lot with the, with the just awful dirt problem in here. And then, uh, you can see one of these shelves right here. Um, I've got some heavy duty wire shelves that were up in the laundry room and the walls in the laundry room did not support them. So one of them burst down. 
I think this is partially due to that water damage when that roof uh, leaked. And uh, I've got all the, the equipment, so I'm going to bring it out and I'm going to mount it along this back wall and turn this into a usable storage area. And then we're going to go through this stuff and we're going to clean this thing out and we're going to stack stuff. We're going to, we're going to throw away crap that we don't need. And then I'm going to have a storage room where I can start moving stuff that's in the laundry room that we don't need out here. So that is, uh, that is the plan. After we get the inside done, we'll replace these doors, which you can see are just falling apart. Uh, and then we'll have, um, we'll have a shed. Um, just about got the shed cleaned out. I don't know if you can hear it. I've got the Roomba running inside of it. Now I'm taking this thing off, which was probably where most of the dirt was coming through because it had this in front of it. And then just a huge hole, a motor that's no longer connected, a fan. This has got a water trough at the top. And the uh, top had a hose connection and then a, a drain connection at the bottom. This was obviously some sort of evaporative cooling, but there's, there's just this metal. There's no way to put a, put a pad in there to absorb the water. So, I mean, there's no doubt it's some sort of evaporative cooling, but, <clears throat> and there's no doubt it doesn't work. But I've never seen anything like it. I've seen a lot of evaporative cooling units over the years, but uh, that's a different one. Anyway, so that's the that's the unit, and uh, whoever installed it, the knucklehead, put it in with nails. For fuck's sake! All right, well I'm taking it out now, so. That's the, that's the current project. And I'll, I'll show you the inside of the shed here in a while. Uh, by the way, the backyard is now absolutely full of the stuff that was in the shed. Okay, so I had one of the canines running in here. That's a Roomba. We call him canine. Uh, and uh, it did an okay job. Uh, I'd already run the shop back in here some, but I put the canine down and, the, and ran it, and uh, it didn't actually run its battery down, so that tells me that it either thinks it covered everything, or more likely, because when I opened it, it absolutely never had so much dirt in it in its life. So I'm going to run the other one <clears throat> now, the better one, on the second pass, because there's definitely, there's definitely quite a bit of dust still on the floor. Um, but uh, we're going to give this other one a go. Anyway, this is what the room looks like uh, now that it's been cleaned out. Well, it's cleaner after the second go round with the second Roomba. I don't know if that's because it's a better Roomba or because the other one just gave up because it had too much, too much stuff in its bucket. I mean, it was, it was full. Um, it's a, it's actually an interesting experiment because with a floor that had that much dust on it, no carpet, you know, no boards or anything, you can really see how well the Roomba does along the walls, and it's substantially poorer than I had hoped. But, um, it's, uh, it's definitely a lot better than it was. So, tomorrow... I hate to say it, but I think we're going to try to clean. And there's no point in cleaning the walls behind the thing, because that's where the, the foam board's going to go. But I just feel like maybe a little cleaning wouldn't be a miss. I also have to figure out how to mount that electrical plug. <laughs> anyway. I'm saving that for tomorrow. Well, I thought I'd start with this wall for no other reason than, well, it's this wall. But you gotta love this shit.
14 and a quarter. 13. 13. 16 and three quarters. I bet they're all like that. This looks looks different than this than this. That might be the same as that one over there. I also have to cut something out and put in here. I'm gonna secure it maybe. Well, I'm not sure how I'm gonna secure that. Okay, so the first piece is in. Why is it that piece when I told you it was gonna be that piece over there? Well, let me just remind you of something. Measure twice, cut once. Measure twice, cut once. Anyway, so we're good here. So that's the first piece and it's in. And uh, I feel like we're, we're moving right along now. Well, the more I cut this stuff, the more I figure out what works and what doesn't work. One of the things that isn't working, I just have to compensate for it. I mean, this isn't a precision job, right? But the ends of this stuff are not perfectly square. And you can tell that by drawing a square line from one end and a square line from the other end and then measuring it along the length. And well, A, they don't meet up. And B, if you measure it square line from the sides, you see that one or the other deviates because one of the other one or the other ends isn't perfectly square. So <clears throat> the results are not perfect, but uh, as long as they're just a little big, then I can hammer them in and, uh, and that works. So, <coughs> but my cutting's getting better. So that's something. tight down here. Bottom looks like shit. Like I said, bottom's a little tight. It could be that I didn't quite get it pushed all the way up like I should have. There's a little gap up there to be more careful on the next one. Okay, first wall done. So don't ask the logic of the order. All of these are 
they're close, but they're all different sizes. So I sat down and worked out the pieces I'd need to cut to make sure I had enough board, you know, because it's waste. Um, on a, on a, you can cut three, you can cut three 13 inch ones out of a 48 piece, but you can't cut four 13 inch pieces out. So I'm trying to optimize the pieces. So that worked out to fill in this ones on this wall uh, with a sheet because we have these two under the window ones that are shorter but wider. And then we have this one on the left, which is narrower, but has to be cut in the middle so that I can slide it behind the electrical wiring. Um, gonna have some more to fight with here coming soon. But uh, anyway, one wall done. Got three walls done now. Now the biggest wall and the trickiest. Well, the insulation board is all in. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna have to get some tape there or something. All right. Well, that does something regrettable. Um, I had one piece that for some reason was three quarters of an inch too short, which I assume is because I measured it wrong. And I could measure another one, but I don't care. Right, I mean, you can see it up here. I just cut a three quarter inch piece and put it in place. Um, what I had to do for these electrical things, uh, I think I may have showed you this. I just cut the board here, slide part under, slide part top. So I've got one here, I cut here, and I cut oh, right there. Uh, right there. Um, I'm gonna go get some of that silver tape and put it on there just to uh, make it look like it's intentional. Uh, otherwise, that's it. Next, I'm gonna put in the shelving units, which, based on the shelving unit, and you can see one of them over here, that's the shelf. The only wall it's gonna fit on is right here, which is what I expected. It'll go to right about here. So. That'll give us plenty of shelving on that side, and then we'll decide what to do from there.